Hey guys, my name is Max and welcome to Simple Biology. Today we're going to be talking about microscopes. Now obviously a microscope is not actually part of this cell, but when we look at cells, literally when we look at cells, we use microscopes. And so it'll be very important to know what it is we're using and how it works. Now obviously the first type of microscope that we're going to look at is a light microscope. This is the type of microscope that you probably have in your typical uh, lab setting, uh, of course for biology, and it was actually the first type of microscope to be invented. And it was what was used to discover cells. There was uh, these two scientists named Hook and Lewinhook or something. We don't really need to know about them, but if you want to look into that, the, interesting, the history is pretty interesting. Essentially what happens with a light microscope is that light, as the name suggests, is transmitted through a slide and then magnified with the lenses. So this is kind of a picture of what a microscope looks like. The light it comes through, it comes from right here. There's usually a high-powered uh, light source, a light bulb. It comes through the slide. The slide will be right there, through a set of lenses that are all in this column, to where you can view it through. Uh, this is the, called the eyepiece. And so. These lenses are what's shaping the light, allowing it to be focused and magnified. The other type of uh, microscope is what's called an electron microscope. And there are two types of electron microscopes. Scanning electron microscopes, which are often abbreviated SEM, and transmission electron microscopes, which are often abbreviated TEM. Now, the, dif the difference between them is pretty subtle, but essentially scanning electron microscopes scan the surface of the specimen, whereas transmission electron microscopes show a cross-section of the, of the specimen's internal structure. Uh, there's a whole uh, process that's involved in preparing the specimen, and it's different for each of them, but that's not really very relevant. But what is important to know is that rather than uh, glass lenses, you have electromagnets, which focus the beam of electrons. And so this is kind of uh, the internal mechanisms of that electron microscope. In reality, it would be enclosed in a big uh, cylindrical chamber, several feet high, and uh, basically the parts. This little block right here is what generates the electrons, or it, uh, it's called it's an electron gun. Essentially, it shoots out electrons uh, over to here, where you have an array of electromagnets which focus them in. Right here you have the specimen, and over here is some sort of digital receptor, uh, sometimes even just film, and that will be what uh, t picks up the data, and it's then transported to a computer in, or in order to uh, make an image. And uh, the way that the specimen is prepared determines whether it's a scanning electron microscope or a transmission electron microscope. Now, the important thing in biology is not so much how the two of them function separately, but which cases you'll use which of them, and so it's important to compare the two types of microscopes. Now, of course, electron microscopes, they just sound m more modern, more complicated, and that's true. They have a much higher magnification, resolution, and contrast. Now, let me uh, define these three terms real quick. Magnification, obviously that's how magnified it is, the specimen is. So this is generally just some sort of factor and it's maybe uh, maybe you magnified it by a hundred times what it is. It went from 10 micrometers to a hundred micrometers or a thousand micrometers, just whatever it is depending on that magnification. The resolution on the other hand is uh, is how is can you can you determine two points from each other and how, uh, how clear is that picture, whereas contrast is the different colors and it also plays a role in the clarity of the picture. On the other hand, the benefit of a light microscope is that it leaves the specimen alive. Like I was saying, there were, there's those uh, processes that they have to use in order to prepare the specimen for an electron microscope, and those kill the, the cell. It usually, usually involves like coating it in metal or something like that. And light microscopes, you can look at the cell while it's still alive, which is a, a huge benefit there if you want to look at 
how the cell works and how it's functioning. And so that's really it. Uh, microscopes are as simple as that.